Hey guys, all right, this is going to be a pretty quick uh, video. A couple things I wanted to go over. We've got um, some questions from uh, several different people over the last few months on, uh, on bench height and chair height or when you're routing. Now understand guys, we're in our studio right now. I don't really do all my routing or even most of my routing here in the studio. I do this because this is set up and it works well with the camera and all that. But when I route most of my signs, I'm over in the regular shop. And when you guys see me here at the bench, um, it's not really conducive to good posture uh, when I'm routing. And uh, in the past, you know, you know, Dad and I have been doing this for 40, 50 years, I don't know, something like that. And I can remember way back early, um, a lot of times I was hunched over and I was looking at the router like this. Mm -hmm. And I did that for years. I did that for a long time. And uh, consequently, I've got neck issues, some back issues, uh, you know, and I'm working through them. But over the last few years, I've realized, hey, I better have a little bit more posture when I'm carving. Uh, and, and it will save me in the long run. So I'm trying to save you guys some, some time if you really get into doing a lot of routing. So this bench and this chair that I'm using is just what we have and what we have that works well here in the studio. But the posture on this really isn't... Uh, I always... By the way, for me... Uh, and again, these are all suggestions just from us. You can do what you want to do. But for me, I like a chair with a back on it so I can push my back and try and keep my torso straight up and down when I'm carving and not end up hunched over and bent over. So that's number one. Number two, right now this bench really is low for me uh, in order to keep my correct posture when I'm carving, it, especially if you're doing a lot of signs. So I'm about 5'9", something like that. Uh, every body type is going to be different, so if you're tall, short, you got to find out what's good for you. But try and keep your back straight up and down so that you don't have uh, back issues or neck issues. Um, my bench for me, again, I'm 5'9". My bench that I do almost all my carving of signs on uh, in the shop, I went and measured it, and it's uh, 37 inches to the top of the bench, and my chair is about 19 inches up from the floor. Uh, this one is uh, 30 inches to the top of the bench and 16 inches on my chair. So this causes me to necessarily kind of bend over a little bit, not keep my back as straight. And you can see sometimes on some of the videos, I'll back up and do routing from a little bit further away where I really would like it to be like to be right in there on top of it so I can see it really well. So just, uh, you know, uh, I, and I think this was... Um, Oh yeah, I want to mention the guys that, that ask about this. Uh, Joey Ellis and uh, Jim Peronto. Um, so this is, uh, you know, to answer you guys. And I, I think some other people have asked too. So anyway, find out what's best for you guys. But make sure, in fact, I'm going to turn sideways. Make sure that, that you know, you've got a back on your chair and you're not hunching over like this. That's just going to cause neck problems, back issues, that kind of stuff. Trust me, I learned the hard way. So try and keep your back straight up and down against the back of your chair. Uh, and again, this is just what I've learned and it's helped me over the last few years. So uh, you got to find out what's going to be right for your body type, but definitely play around with it. Play with different heights. Play with different height uh, chair heights. Make sure your bench is good and solid. This is actually like a table out uh, that I think we got from an auction at a at, uh, you know, at a school or something. But it's a nice solid table, nice solid bench. But anyway, so try and play around with that. General rule is the bench. If for me, again, if the bench is kind of mid chest, and that's where. So, you know, for me, for where I'm sitting right now, my bench height would be about here, right in the center of my chest. That's a general rule, at least for my body type. Again, you can... And mine. Yeah, and Dad, the same thing. So, um, if you have that, chances are you're, you won't end up with, you know, lower back issues and, and neck issues. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on, and I, unfortunately I can't remember, but I, I, we've got a couple questions on it, so this is going to be kind of a two-subject uh, video, is, uh, is dust. 
dust collection, and even more importantly, dust in the air, respirators, masks. You guys don't see us use masks or respirators. There's a couple of reasons why. Uh, the main reason why is because we like to talk a lot and, and so when we've got that on it makes it tough to communicate with the with not only with each other but with you guys so um, and I know that's no excuse as far as safety goes so you know I know that the other reason is we never have really used masks or respirators mu much. We always use glasses. Of course, I use my cheaters uh, or my magnifiers, but we've always used some kind of safety glasses just to keep the sawdust out of our eyes. But we're, uh, unfortunately, or, or fortunately for us, God has blessed us with a, a system that doesn't seem to, to uh, react real bad to, um, to sawdust in the air. Um, we turn, generally try and have a fan blowing to keep the, you know, as much sawdust from, you know, from right in our face as we can. Um, and I know we're probably going to hear you guys should be wearing respirators, and you're, and you're probably right. We probably should be. And sometimes if it's real bad, I will. I'll wear one of those cheap masks. Uh, you know the the little filters and you may you may be using those or the big respirators with the filters We've had those in the past. Well, I've been doing it for over 40 years and I've never worn a mask And uh, of course my throat is a little scratchy now, but I don't think that has anything to do with sawdust So anyway that that's not that and you know, we're, we're not doctors. We're not lawyers <laughs> So, you know, use your own best judgment. But unfor again, unfortunately, there may be some people out there that are highly susceptible to the sawdust, to the fine sawdust, to the ink, to the paint, those kinds of things. And absolutely, if you feel better with a respirator, we absolutely highly recommend that for you guys. Again, you know, you're not going to see a mask or, or uh, respirators on us very much because we're blessed in the fact that it just hasn't. Now, not to say that I haven't had sinus issues, and I have, um, but uh, for, we're fortunate that it hasn't caused any, any health issues with us, you know, other than you know, minor irritations here and there. So, uh, again, that's kind of our disclaimer. We're not telling you not to use a mask. So if you guys feel good about using a mask, we recommend do it. You use a mask, respirator, whatever you want, whatever works for you. Um, just as far as we go, uh, we haven't used them and we don't use them very much. When we spray, however, uh, we like to have plenty of fresh air around us when we Yeah, spray. we almost always spray our paint and stuff other than in the studio uh, outside, uh, you know, where there's plenty of ventilation. Um, uh, we almost always do that, and, and our spray finishes as well. Uh, we have special setups where we'll spray our finish, and we've always got air blowing and, and plenty of fresh air. So that's, that's pretty important. Um, was there anything else we wanted to cover, Dad? Was that about it? That's about it, son. Yeah, I, I, uh, next week we're going to do some stuff, uh, some different things, and we've got some exciting things coming up, so definitely stay tuned, guys. Uh, thanks again for, uh, for all the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got some great things coming up. Premium membership is going uh, phenomenal, so thank you for all of the, the premium memberships, and you can read about uh, free router bit sharpening and stuff in the bottom. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. So we will, uh, we will, we've got a lot of, again, several different uh, videos kind of in the works right now. We just got to work out some details. So uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks again.